everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be making homemade almond milk. This seriously could not be easier. Um, I've been trying to cut back on dairy and I drink my protein smoothies every day with milk. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to make my own almond and oat milk. I'll show you how to make oat milk next time. That's also super easy. The only thing with store-bought like almond milks is they have a lot of oils and stuff that they've added in. They've added in preservatives a lot of times. Some of them have um, natural sweeteners in there. So I'm gonna show you how you can make it at home so you know every single ingredient that's going into it. And we can make it a sweetened way and an unsweetened way. And seriously, it's so easy, so cost effective. I just grabbed these almonds at Trader Joe's, but I think next time I'm gonna go to Costco because I'm sure they have jumbo sized bags. And it just takes a cup of almonds to make a good amount of milk. Okay, first thing you wanna do, is dump a cup of almonds into a bowl, cover it with water, and soak it overnight. Or the other option you can do, which is what I'm gonna do just for time's sake here, is I'm going to put hot water, so I put boiled up some water on my kettle, and then that way you can soak them for one to two hours. But overnight is nice too. And I think with the Trader Joe's size bag, and get about three to four cups of almonds out here. So that's a pretty good value because I think this bag only cost me $4 and something, like under $5, so that's a good deal. All right, so I'm gonna take my water because I have hot water. But of course, like I said, otherwise you could just soak these overnight with just basic tap water. But since I'm trying to do this quickly for the video, I'm just gonna soak them for a couple hours with my really hot water and then I'll show you the next step. You will need to either have milk, or um, sorry, uh, not milk cloth, a nut bag or, um, oh, I can't think of the thing, a flour, flour sack. I can't remember the name of this. I'll have to put it here, what it actually is called. Uh, but these milk bags are pretty cool. You can grab them on Amazon. They're fairly inexpensive. All right, my almonds are soaked for about two hours with the really hot water. Again, you can also just do them overnight so now you're just gonna strain the almonds using a strainer in the sink and drain out the water then we're gonna grab our blender got my strained almonds here gonna dump them into my blender along with five cups of cold water I just took this from uh, my filtered water out of the refrigerator put my top on here and we are gonna blend this all up when I tell you this is like the easiest thing ever to make. I am not joking. So I'm gonna blend this up. Uh, I'll start a little low and I'll increase it for about a minute or so. Just wanna get all the almonds um, broken up, but it's not gonna be like smooth. It's just gonna be liquidy, but you wanna make sure there's no thick pieces of almond left. By the way, a Vitamix, this blender is the best, the best. Costco gets it a lot too on sale. I just want to make sure there's no big chunks of almonds left, but it's not going to be like a fine puree or anything like that. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Take this off. Look at that. Look at all that yummy milk. Oh gosh, you're going to be surprised though when we use the nut bag. <laughs> how much thickness like of the almonds is in there. It's really crazy, it like expands or something. So I just took another pitcher and then I got these jars on Amazon. There's a two pack, I think for like 20 bucks. They're really inexpensive. When I first got them, I ran them through the dishwasher because you kind of want to sterilize them. So the easiest way to do that is just stick them in the dishwasher um, and it should sterilize it pretty well. Just try to keep the bacteria down. Let's get rid of this. We're gonna take our nut bag, stick it into the pitcher. That's why I like this one, because it's kind of nice, because you can stick it like onto the pitcher here. Maybe, maybe if I can get it on here, let's see. And we're gonna strain it. Ugh. There we go. We're gonna strain it through the nut bag, and then we'll squeeze out all the goodness. It's really cool, it's a cool little process. So I'm just gonna fill up my nut bag. I've also seen where people put cheesecloth, that's, that's what that's called, where they just lay the cheesecloth over a bowl and they pour their stuff out. 
Um, so maybe that's another way that you could try doing it. I'm gonna dump that all in there. Let's get rid of this guy. I'm gonna pull the bag up, seal it off here, and then we'll just start squeezing. Look at all that coming out. Isn't that cool? But look at how thick all this is. It'll end up about down here at the end of this. And then from the pitcher, again, make sure you have clean hands. I washed my hands before this. Um, from the pitcher, we'll pour it into our glass container. You really just want to do glass. It keeps stuff fresher longer. And once this is all done and you refrigerate it, you can keep it for about four to five days. So it lasts quite a while. I, mine doesn't go that long because uh, I use it so much. Now, here's the other option that you could do. If you wanted to sweeten this up, back when we did the blender, you could have added a date or two, so fresh dates, and then like a tablespoon or so of uh, vanilla, vanilla extract. So that would add sweetness. I like it either way. Like I said, I just put this in my protein shakes, uh, so I don't really need the sweetness necessarily, but I've done both ways and it tastes really good. So that's another option. I have it all linked up on the blog, the recipe, if you tap in the description below. I like to really squeeze it because I like to make sure I get every last bit of it. Okay, that's pretty good. Look at all that. And then look at all this that's left. So I did also see from somebody else that you can cook with this. Um, so I'll have to research that a little more so that this doesn't go to waste. Um, I need to figure out what it is. But there's all of our almonds. We're gonna take this guy, let me grab a paper towel. Turn my hands off here a little bit. And we're gonna pour our fresh almond milk into our glass container. You can also take like an Expo marker, washable marker, and write the date on here if you wanted to. That way you kind of know. Put my lid on, there you go. Stick this in the fridge, like I said, you can write the date here if you wanted to, with like a dry erase, uh, and it'll last you four to five days in the fridge, and you know exactly what's in it. So, hope you enjoyed this. Tap the link below. I have everything linked, all my supplies, and I have a recipe too that you can save, print out, whatever you want to do, but it is so darn easy. I'll be making oat milk next time. Let me know if you try this. While you're here, be sure to subscribe and give a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. That's it. See you guys later.